This is the iFixit ProTech Toolkit, and no, this video is not sponsored by iFixit. I bought this. I just like it. I think it's good. So I wanted to do a review of it. I've had it for like two years, maybe a year and a half. I don't know. I had it a while. I've used it quite a few times. It served me well. So let's get into the review. So the whole kit is contained inside this fabric velcroed thing here. It just folds out and you can see all your tools. This is pretty cool. It has this flap to protect the more possibly fragile things or you know this stuff can poke at other things and you don't want that happening. So there's really three main components to this. You've got the main driver kit you have like tweezers and like pry tools and soft pry tools some other things then you've got this other stuff this is even softer pry tools but you've got a suction cup for taking screens off of stuff and anything that needs some kind of pulling some suction and you have an ESD wristband and that wristband protects your electronics and yourself from electric shock. So, I'm going to take this off for now. And this is magnetic, so kind of holds itself in there. We're going to put this to the side, and I'm going to talk about this stuff first. So, you've got these, which are pretty cool. They're insulated because this is plastic and they hold themselves shut. These can be pretty good for reaching into tight spaces to pick something out. And uh, all the tools here are nice and high quality. And something about iFixit that stands out from the other brands is they have a lifetime warranty. The tools themselves in here are not particularly miraculous, like they're good. Um, but I don't know if they're quite as good as the price. You can find these cheap knockoff Chinese variants of these toolkits, but they don't really have a warranty. I fix it will replace this stuff if it breaks. And it should be free. So you've also got some curved tweezers. Again, super useful for getting into small places. You have the same kind of tweezers, but not curved. Oh, actually, yeah, these are grippier. It's pretty cool. You got some softer, like, spudger-type tools. It's good for stuff that is either electrically charged, because these are plastic, or if it's something that's fragile and you don't want to break it. Again, the tools, a lot of them are designed to break before your devices will. This is another one of those situations. This is, you know, somewhat sharp, but it's plastic. It's for cutting, like, glue and, like, really soft plastic. You got, like, a metal version of that. This looks like something you would do surgery with, but it's not sharp. It's kind of blunt. And then you've got the Big Daddy Pry Tool. Yeah. Call it a jimmy. It's a flexible metal pry tool that you can really get into something and pry it open with. And then you've got these guitar pick type things, which are good for getting into phones. Like, you would use it to pry something open and you'd use a few of them like if you needed to hold a spot open you know you can put them in around and eventually the thing will pop out so that's how you use those and then you got these kind of fat pry tools these are pretty soft if I'm trying to pry something open this is usually what I try first and if you follow like iFixit tutorials or if you're following a, a tutorial for some YouTuber, 
a lot of them have this and so you know it's it, it can be helpful to have the same tools of course you got the suction cup I'm not gonna demo the suction cup or the uh, static band because they're pretty self-explanatory so now let's get to the main attraction here the driver set or the bit and driver set so this is a two-part set you have the lid and you have everything else this lid is made this way to serve a purpose you actually can use these grids to put screws in like if a certain group of screws came from one thing you can put it here another group of screws come from another thing you can put them in a different square and it can help you be organized and know where to put your stuff when you put something back together and then you have your actual driver here it's metal the end is magnetic so it, it holds your bits really well this it spins it has a bearing nice and smooth so it doesn't hurt you can you know it's just a much nicer experience than trying to use those fixed screwdrivers and just uh, an example here you can hear that magnetic click and it holds stuff in there really well but you can take it out really easy this is a sim card tool I don't know if you can see that at all probably not but that's come in handy quite a lot and it has a bunch of specialty tools in here one of the tools it has which is pretty interesting is this one which is just a little magnet and you can take this which is an extension for the driver and now you have a flexible extension that you can go and find a screw down in some hole that you can't get to this thing this thing is coming handy a lot because a lot of times when a piece of electronics is all put together the screw that you want to get to is not really meant to be messed with with it all assembled so with this you can kind of get into a weird spot and you can turn it like that this all bends and still works so that's pretty cool and you know like I said this driver set has a bunch of specialty stuff especially for like Apple devices have some weird uh, screws this will accommodate most of that it has security Torx bits it has iPhone standoff bits it has very small like triple was it Y triple zero like Phillips well that's not Phillips but it has Phillips triple zero and a bunch of other cool stuff and this is the kind of thing that you buy not necessarily because you need it I mean you can buy it because you need it I bought it because I had some particular project and I didn't have all the stuff to fix it but really you can buy this just because eventually if you work with electronics you're gonna need the stuff in here and if you don't already have the stuff this is like a one-stop shop for all your small electronic needs especially with all the all this stuff these tweezers and pry tools are all really nice and again lifetime warranty I've never had to deal with the lifetime warranty because nothing has broken yet but I did do some research before I made this video people have said they've had good experiences with the warranty it usually shouldn't cost anything they'll send you a prepaid shipping label I guess your mileage may vary but I do have faith in iFixit they make some pretty cool disassembly and like repair guides and I don't know I can't help but like the company so yeah although this video isn't sponsored I do have Amazon affiliate links you can check that out if you want to help out the channel it doesn't cost you anything extra and I would greatly appreciate it. Now, if you want something bigger, they have something called a Manta Bit Set. I think it's called Bit Set, but it's Manta. It has Manta in the name. I'll have a link. And it's kind of like this, but just bigger. 
it doesn't include the pry stuff I don't think but it's just like a larger screwdriver set it's pretty cool but yeah that is the Protec toolkit it folds up like so and yeah, you just throw this in a drawer somewhere and you're ready to go thanks for watching the video I'll see you in the next one